Sarah's English coaching class. Um, English has become a very important or instrumental language that makes interactions among people who come from different linguistic backgrounds together to enable them to express themselves and to be understood at every target or point. That means for you to talk and speak the language, you need to understand it at least averagely because what is worth doing is worth doing well. You don't waste your time saying it is not my language, it is not a native language, it is a language of the foreigners, but it is used in different spheres of our lives in our country, and it has to be understood at least for smooth and appropriate expressions, and for you to be understood. Do not waste time. Come with me and we shall hook the angle. English language is now regarded as a lingua franca. English language, I repeat, is now regarded as a lingua franca. And what do we mean by lingua franca? A lingua franca is a language that is used among people in a society who do have their own already established native languages. But if everybody does not understand that native language and they come from different linguistic or language backgrounds, they need to interact. There must be communicative efforts. They need to harness their own targets through interactions. And that language that brings them together, that makes the interactions to be very smooth, understandable, and for them to fathom to one another or each other, they need to establish a particular language that would be understood uh, by themselves and for them to do the needful. And that language that brings them together is what we call lingua franca. To me, and maybe to you too, English in this country, Nigeria now, has become a lingua franca because it is what brings everybody together. Hausa people, Igbo, um, Yoruba, Fulani, Mada, Egon, and the rest. I, I don't have to mention all. Everybody here is inclusive of the fact that English language is what brings us together now. If you go to institutions of learning, right from primary schools, secondary schools, and even tertiary institutions, universities, polytechnics, monotechnics, colleges, and the rest, they need to sustain one language that would be understood by every student that must have come from different linguistic anger. And that language, I bet, is English, and that is why it has become a lingua franca. Okay, now, there is something we need to understand again, and at very important level, we need to assume English language has a lot of things in it. Different people would consider it in different ways, but one fact remains it is a language and it constitutes our speeches in life. We can't do as normal human beings without speeches. And these speeches come from either individual alone or two persons or three persons or whatever the provision may be. Every language constitutes the composition of words without which the language cannot exist. In a nutshell, I mean, every language relies on how words are brought together or composed in order to make expressions palpable. With this, we have this particular topic we call parts of speech. Many people may think having a discussion on parts of speech may seem to be a kind of a wasting of time. It is not and it will never. Because majority 
of people may rely on the language itself without knowing that the parts of speech are the bedrocks. They are the cornerstones. In fact, they are the instrumental blocks with which the language as an entity is built. Therefore, we need to go back to our knowledge of parts of speech. Most of the things we have already learned from primary schools and secondary schools wouldn't suffice for you to express yourselves and for you to analyze the language which is English you are dwelling into. That means our knowledge and our revisit to the notion of the part of speech is very important. You will bear with me when we decompose the words in order to have a certainty of what we are doing. Speech, what do we mean by speech? Commonsensically, when we say speech, we're referring to a stretch or string of utterances. If you wake up in the morning, you need to start a talk. Maybe with, good morning, daddy, good morning, mommy. How are you doing? Each and every item that is making this composition of your speech understood and flying is a part we are talking about. And the stretches, the utterances together from the start to the finish of what you said, the good morning till the end, form what we call speech. Therefore, a speech is a kind of a string of your utterances. And you see, as a normal human being, there is no case that will warrant you having a notion that speech is not part of you. In fact, it is part and parcel of you and it can never be avoided. Therefore, every speech we talk about at our disposal is made up of what we call parts. And what are these parts? That is our target now. If you want to know beyond what you've known before, come with me. We shall exhaust the discussion.